How you doing? Welcome to Rick's Refinery. Uh, I do straight vegetable oil in my trucks. I uh, don't have a, a special system or anything, but I just burn straight vegetable oil and I mix it straight with diesel fuel. Uh, this is my system. This is the first step. You take your used vegetable oil from the, uh, the restaurants that we deliver to, which is handy because they give it to us in a nice tote. First, we have the filter. It's a 100 micron filter that we bought from uh, Utah Biodiesel. It works slick, works really well in a 1,000 liter tank or 250 uh, gallons, whichever one you prefer. And all you do is pour the oil in and like this. You just pour the oil until the big chunks start coming out or that silty kind of stuff. You don't want to put that in there because it just makes your oil really dirty anyways. And it just makes the cleaning process a little bit faster and a little bit easier. So we'll just keep watching it until we see the crud on the bottom. This tank is pretty clean. Oh, there we go. And we shut it off, and that's your first part of the process. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the uh, second part of the uh, filtration system. Uh, we have our waste oil tank that we just filled up with the uh, the uh, small 16 liter uh, tubs of oil, waste oil from the restaurants, and it goes down to here to our valve open open it up and it goes into this pump right here this is actually an old uh, honey pump uh, so it's used to uh, pumping uh, very uh, thick liquids uh, thicker than the uh, vegetable oil obviously and all we do is pump it up at this hose right here and it goes outside to the uh, tank outside okay so we've taken the uh, honey pump and we've turned it on and this is the hose where we're going to do is fill up the gravity tank there now So from the honey pump, the hose goes just right into this tank right here and we fill it up. Cut. So now we've filled up our waste oil tank and now we're ready to send the oil to the centrifuge inside the uh, trailer. So we'll open up this valve, the waste oil now goes down a clear tube so we can control the, um, how much oil goes into the centrifuge. And this is the centrifuge here. Uh, it's from these guys right there. It's a nice little machine. Uh, what it does basically is it uh, heats the oil in this tube here. So the waste oil comes down into the uh, heater section. Then after it goes through the heater section, goes in inside the, uh, the centrifuge, drops it in there, and there's a dish inside that spins it at about 6,000 RPM. And what it does then is it separates the oil from the dirty uh, contaminants of the oil. And then once that process is done, that the clean oil goes into the tank through this hose here. And if there's any dirty oil, it goes down into a small tank on the outside. As you can see, it's kind of full. All right. So I'll just quickly show you the inside of the centrifuge. Pop that off. And right here is this dish. And you can see it's dirty on the inside from use of it before. I'll show you a clean little spot there now. And so what it does is it spins a 6,000 RPM. The dirt goes to the outside and the clean oil goes to the outside and it goes down inside the, uh, the clean tank. Okay, so We've taken the uh, waste oil from outside and it runs through the pump or the slime and it goes through the uh, centrifuge. Now, from that tank, which is a thousand liters or 250 gallons, it takes almost eight hours for the filtration system to go through the centrifuge. It's a slow process, but it's very, very clean at the end. So basically, it fills this tank up. And normally I, I use two tanks because I go through so much oil during the summer months. I'm using this as an example now. 
this tank here I've almost used this summer also it's almost gone through a thousand liters and this is my filling pump for the truck it's a pump that we bought from uh, Princess Auto it's a 110 pump uh, it works quite well 15 gallons per minute and it goes through this line here once we turn it on and the last filter part that I like to do is I have these two water filters so that if there's any water in the system in the in somewhere that we've missed it goes through these filters and it catches it from these filters here we have our filling hose so we will take our filling hose and in the truck open the valve and I'll show you how clean it comes. Turn the pump on, back outside, and we fill. See how nice and clean it is? A little air bubble. And that's the system. Thank you very much.